cards here between Punjab and Tamil Nadu live from Guwahati Assam of course third edition of the Kelo India Youth Games these two teams battled it out last year as well and Tamil Nadu lost to Punjab 76-92 lost to Rajasthan beat Karnataka this is how their journey has been beat semi-final impressively Delhi 89-81 in the semi and Punjab has had a superb run yeah, they beat Tamil Nadu 92 76. They beat Karnataka 88 65. Beat Rajasthan 89 57. And in the semi final, they beat Kerala 95 59. 76 to 92 was the scoreline in the group. Punjab were too good at that moment in time. That is how Tamil Nadu lines up. It's an impressive lineup for both teams. Tamil Nadu, Bala Dhaneshwar, they will be looking to him for inspiration. The captain, Sheldon Roshan, will have a game on his hands. And Arvind Kumar, who is a junior international, will also have to play a big role. Bala Dhaneshwar had a fantastic semi-final match. I mean, that's one game they will never want to forget. 31 points versus Delhi in semi-final one. 31 points, a huge, huge, huge. Uh, effort coming in from the big lad there, Bala Dhaneshwar, as you rightly said, senior India player. Now we look at uh, Punjab and you will have to speak about Prince Pal Singh, but their captain is Kanwar Gurbaz Sandhu. Kanwar Gurbaz Sandhu already represented India, Aman Sandhu is another one, Gurnu Shahal is another one, that is the starting lineup for you. Prince Pal Singh, number 10, we will keep referring to him because of performances like that 36 points he is a member of the NBA Academy a product you know very well from your commentary days uh, Padam but this guy is one to really watch out for Prince Pal Singh yeah in the white of Tamil Nadu Aman Sandhu also hails from the NBA Academy okay ladies and gentlemen fasten your seat belts this is going to be a mouth watering watering clash this is going to be Tamil Nadu taking on the mighty boys of Punjab and I don't know whether it's where Siddharth as his heart is Tamil Nadu are the defending champions here Prince Pal Singh Jesse number 10 is the one who's going to hold the limelight here tip off begins oh was that a foul to begin with not the most auspicious of starts for Punjab, but uh, is the entire game to go. Tamil Nadu wins possession. First attack coming their way. There yet again. Now this is going to be a battle of attrition, mind you. We were talking about uh, how the league phase. Punjab are very good now. He misses it by a fair distance. Is the Tamil Nadu shooter there? Sheldon Roshan. You can understand the early nerves, no doubt about that. And this is going to be a game spread of four quarters. Prince Pal Singh holds it, gives it back back to his captain, Kanwar Gurbaz. They have actually searched Arma Aman here. Aman goes to Prince Pal. Open three. He doesn't get it. And there was no one actually to take the offensive rebound. That's a great chance for Punjab to take the lead early on. Just could not convert that. Encouraging signs for Punjab early on. Tamil Nadu. And mind you, it's it's going to be a game full of attrition. You're looking at under 21 boys final. Tamil Nadu, jersey number three. Baladhaneshwar played for senior India. Tries to find a way. No look pass there. He holds it. Searches for a partner. He's found one in the form of Baladhaneshwar yet again. Or Punjab ki team ke agar baat karein Siddharth, Bharat ke liye khel chuke hain panch khiladi usme se. Great steal that. And this is a great try coming in from Tamil Nadu. He gives it, drives, jumps, scores, no! So are taken off the rim, here comes the turnover, Kuwar Gurbaz Singh, trying to recycle the ball. Giving it to number six for Punjab. Drives, but that is great defending. Well done, man-to-man -man marking, Hoti with double team, Karne ka maa par effort, open three ka look, and he books it! From downtown, gets the three! Absolutely brilliant start coming in for Punjab. Beautifully done there by Mandeep. Got a three. Baladhaneshwar yet again finds his partner Ajit Kumar. Back to Baladhaneshwar. They are unable to open their account yet. Offensive rebound not very good, but luckily by God's grace they still have the ball in position with them. Baladhaneshwar is their point guard is the one who distributes the ball and yet this time around Ajit Kumar takes it he still misses they've been missing too many chances there for Tamil Nadu 
Punjab giving a lot of space for Tamil Nadu to take those attempts but Tamil Nadu not making the best and look at the space here for Punjab Mandeep has got another one for them well done Mandeep Punjab are looking on a great layup it's one of the easiest things to do whenever the practice sessions you see of basketball that's the first thing the coach teaches you you run you produce the layup use the glass even if you don't use the glass he gets two great layup seen a lot from Tamil Nadu is yet Punjab piling on the pressure early on they've given Tamil Nadu chances which Tamil Nadu have not been able to convert so far no doubt jumps are with doesn't score and the defensive rebound yet again very very good coming in from Aman Punjab are making the best use of the height when it comes down to defending in the post jump again again back-to-back three-pointers coming in from Gurvinder boy oh boy don't go on the height go on the stature how about that by Gurvinder and a timeout has been called because they needed one the defense and the offense for Tamil Nadu in the early exchanges is all over the place we're going for a quick break live action coming your way do stay with us Looking solid at the under 21 finals of the basketball game here. They have not allowed Tamil Nadu to score, and actually, Tamil Nadu should be feeling guilty themselves. So, now there's an eagle because Moke Nahi Aya, Magar and Moko go on a Bunaya Nahi. Jobi effort three point auxilia will be successful. Nahi drive their game, their game will be Nahi, or defensive rebound, cast or Palenik will be Mojo Nahi. Especially what amazes me is that Punjab have not been the best defensively, and it's Prince Bal Singh who has missed. What for his stature and class is an absolute sitter. He gets another charge. Prince Paul Singh doesn't miss this time. Makes up for his mistake. It's 10-0 to Punjab. Tamil Nadu yet to open their account. As easy as they come for Prince Paul. Yeah, and Gurvinder has to be able to give up to Prince Paul Singh. Because he has made a mistake in the first place. He has served and said, let's score. Nothing in the name of Tamil Nadu at the moment. Prince Paul Singh, jersey number 10 for Punjab. Gurvinder actually has been doing most of the scoring. Well done. And double teaming right there. They've opened their account right now. Well done. Tamil Nadu are on the board. Let's just talk about the league stages when the two times met Siddharth. Punjab, but, but too dominant on their opponents. They absolutely were. They won by a margin against Tamil Nadu. It was not just an ordinary victory. Tamil Nadu did not have the best of starts or the best of group stages but they've made it here sheer character personality shown by them Punjab have been a class above the rest Aman ka cha screen set kiya tha Aman ne Gurvinder ka try tha magar defensive rebound Tamil Nadu ka wahan par bahut badhiya Akash has an open look Akash is not can you believe it this is an air ball air ball is something which does not even touch the rim or the board yet again such as his partner, Gurvinder yet again. Oh, could have scored back-to-back -back three pointers. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been something? But Tamil Nadu will be so disappointed. They look nervous to me. Has that group stage game maybe playing on their minds? Bilkul say for my apne. But as they always say, you need to delete that out of your system. Aap ek bada final yahan par khel rahe hain. Aap gold medal ke baare mein sochna hoga. Akash vikal par aaste hue. Post pe vikal mila bhi. Sanjay ne mauka gama diya. Defensive rebound bahut badhiya Mandeep ka. Punjab on the charge yet again. Doing so well. Mandeep was alert. Sharp as attack. Getting that ball away. Prince Pal Singh trying to get a drive. Still with Mandeep. Here he comes. Here's the drive from him. But good man-to-man -man marking. If you have Sheldon Roshan, ka par, unki height ka zikr kar le, it is not what you have. It is what you do with what you have. And they have done a good reject there. Once again, then. Bala Dhaneshwar, so far, very, very quiet. Punjab defense, very, very solid. In the post, Kali Khale De, Asan. Defense, Sota, Pakde Gaye. Sanjay gets uh, a two for Tamil Nadu. Here comes uh, Punjab. This man has been the standout performer for me so far. Gurvinder has been absolutely splendid. Yeah, now it's up to Mandeep to distribute the ball. Guarding him is Akash. Points away, steals it. Yes, he does. That's a great steal. And the just again, the Jatto Jada Bibijari. Oh, so far, we haven't seen a foul as yet. If you talk about it, the boys have not been naughty at all. 
10-0 at one point of time, Padam. But Tamil Nadu have come back well. They've clawed their way back. Prince Pal Singh. Mind you, in the group stages, it was Punjab that were very, very dominant on their opponents. And they beat them comprehensively. The ball will be with Tamil Nadu at the moment, who have only four points on the board. Punjab started with a 10-0 lead. Tamil Nadu, good to see them opening their account first through their captain. And now, I think the problem lies that they're not able to rotate the ball well. Oh my God! This is scintillating coming in from Panathanishwar. From downtown, he knocks the three and out. Just watch it. Beautiful to watch. Superb to watch and just what the doctor ordered for Tamil Nadu. They've cut the lead further. Kuwar Gubasik looking for a foul which does not come in way. No infringement there. Tamil Nadu carry on. Here comes the turnover. Here comes the attempt. They've got a two in. Sheldon Rush again again. Suddenly it's an even contest and this is how quickly this game can change. You talk about Kuwar Gubas and talk about man to man talking. That's a steam. That's a turnover yet again. Bala Ganesh will get again. What is he going to do? Friends? Oh no. Charging. Charging. That's an offensive foul. It is an offensive foul. Punjab need to get organized here because that 10-0 lead has quite simply been wiped out. It stands at just one point and no wonder a timeout has been called. Yeah, both the teams need to group very well. Punjab have allowed Tamil Nadu to score nine points and they've stuck on 10 for a very, very long time at the moment. If you want to talk about the last few minutes, it's not going to be in the air. Less than three and a half left on the clock here. Punjab have a lead, but just about. Basketball, one of the few games in the world of sport where the number of substitutes is more than the number of players. Seven on the bench, five on the court. And rolling substitutes, I mean, that's something that if you if you're not keeping a sharp eye, that's something that you don't need a timeout for. Rolling substitutes can just happen like that. You need to be vigil on the mat, on the court to see what is happening. And those, a coach normally tries to make sure that your sixth man is the most crucial man. We'll come back and talk more about that for the time being. This has really become a contest. A short while back, it was just one-sided contest in favor of Punjab. It was definitely looking that way. Nervous, nervy start for Tamil Nadu. They've come back well. Kuwar Gurbaz looking for options. Gets it back. Mandeep. Prince Pal Singh was the one that he was searching. Anticipation. You can't find Prince Pal Singh guilty for that one. Mandeep, your pass was absolutely wrong. Your main player was heading in the wrong direction. Uh. Tamil Nadu. We sent him, the coach, called a timely timeout, if I can put it that way, which allowed them to regroup, get their strategy back in place. Ajit Kumar searching for Sanjay. He jumps. Bharataneshwar, another air ball for him. Well done. And that is Gurvinda for you. Gurvinda waits. Uses the left. Waits again. Open three is what he can do. I get it. You beauty. You rock star. Nine points for Gurinder and that is nine out of 13 that Punjab has scored. That's the sort of an opener he's had to this game. He's been simply outstanding. Kuwar Gurbaz turned far too easily. Ajit Kumar was the one. Oh, they are angry amongst themselves. That's the last thing you would want to see when you are yelling at your own teammate. That is not what sport teaches you. You need to be united, strong alone, unstoppable together. You don't need to be shouting at your own teammate in the center. Absolutely not. Especially when you have the lead. What you should be doing is act as a team and build on the lead. I think what's got them nervous is that 10 points being wiped out. They raced into a 10 point lead if you're just joining us Punjab. But Tamil Nadu have fought back so very well. It's just 4 points between the teams now. Arvind, Pickle Taras right there, Doon right there, Sheldon Roshan go. But a ball position will throw in Punjab. Ke liye. Punjab dark blue, mein. Tamil Nadu white. Mein. Punjab ke paas char point ke lead. Ek aisa tha, the lead was 4 points. One time, Punjab was leading. Tamil Nadu was a very big deal. Officials are also consulted. Mind you, after a foul, the time play stops and the player foul is given one or more one point 
free throws, but this is not a free throw. This will be a throw in for Tamil Nadu at the moment. It is one of the right jumps. That's a throw. Well done. Good defensive rebound by Aman. Very unlucky Baladhaneshwar not to have scored there. Punjab captain Kuwar with the ball. Recycles it. Prince Paul saying with the drive. Prince Paul. Over ambitious. वो डबल टीम कर दिए गए थे जब आप डबल टीम किए जाते हैं तब आपको ये जानना चाहिए कि बाकी कहीं ना कहीं आपका कोई एक खिलाड़ी खाली खड़ा है क्योंकि पांच उनके हैं पांच आपके दो आप पे आ गए तो कहीं ना कहीं एक तो खाली खड़ा है आपको वो एक खिलाड़ी खाली ढूंढना है गुड पॉइंट है पदम कुर गुरबाजेस कुर गुरबाजिंग चार्जिंग So far, now actually we've not seen any free throws coming. So far, not not for no fouls at all. I mean that's that's a pretty decent behavior by the boys. Well, you get to see them. You'll get to see them. This is going to get more aggressive. Yeah, it's a four-point lead with uh, two minutes and under in the first quarter. Each quarter, ten minutes. He jumps. Arvind Kumar doesn't score, but offensive rebound still with them. Arvind still has it with the layup. Well done. Great steal. This is absolutely brilliant from Arvind. He. He only does difficult things right. Easy does not come easy to him. Does it that way? Prince Paul saying with the block. And Gurwinder puts his hands up to apologize. But look at that by Prince Paul saying, "How about that by defensive block?" Oh, this game is being played at a breakneck speed. No doubt about that. Ajit has the ball, guarding him is Kamal Gurbaz with the jump. He gets it. It's a two-point game in favor of Punjab at this moment. Junior international Arvind Kumar with the two for Tamil Nadu. Just over a minute to go. Just two points within them. He's just hit himself. Needs a break. Needs a breather. Arvind Kumar. We all do, I think, Paddy. This has been breathless. Absolutely. They, these, these young boys. This is under 21 finals. This is between the defending champions Tamil Nadu and Punjab when they met in the league stages. It was Punjab that gave up, gave them a thrashing. Punjab was giving them a thrashing in the first five, six minutes. It was 10-0 to begin with, but Tamil Nadu have come back strong. Very strong. Into the last minute of the first quarter, Tamil Nadu. With the ball, looking to finish the quarter off really strongly, and I think he was completely distracted by the jumping Prince Paul Singh. Now, will he come to the charity stripe? Is the big question here. No, it's going to be the throw-in will belong to Tamil Nadu. They have the possession with the ball at the moment. Searches Ajit Kumar, jumper, three-pointer, no misses. by just to take it but luckily the ball still is with them another empty look finds ajit ajit drives jumps his part has gone no well done aman looking for a turnover prince paul singh gurvinder back to kuwar kulba sandhu it's a three for punjab rajan with the chappak it made the chappak sound did not touch the rim at all Wonderful again a 5 point lead with under 15 seconds to go in the first quarter you watching the under 21 boys final right here defending champions Tamil Nadu Palathaneshwar is being guarded very well by Gurvinder now it's Ajit Kumar no to pass great steal this can Rajan make the most of it he does make the most of it you beauty and that will be the end of the first quarter such a strong finish by Punjab to the end of the first quarter thanks to Number 11 Rajan got a 3 got a 2 5 points in a jiffy Oh this is exciting come back and enjoy the second quarter Come on Gurbaz with the jab he gets it it's a 2 point game in favor of Punjab at this moment Junior international Arvind Kumar with the 2 for Tamil Nadu just over a minute to go just 2 points within them he's just hit himself Needs a break, needs a breather, Arvind Kumar. We all do, I think, Paddy. This has been breathless. Absolutely, they, these, these young boys. This is under 21 finals. This is between the defending champions Tamil Nadu and Punjab when they met in the league stages. It was Punjab that gave up, gave them a thrashing. Punjab was giving them a thrashing in the first five, six minutes. It was 10-0 to begin with, but Tamil Nadu have come back strong. Very strong. Into the last minute of the first quarter. Tamil Nadu with the ball 
Looking to finish the quarter off really strongly. And I think he was completely distracted by the jumping Prince Pal Singh. Now will he come to the charity stripe is the big question here. No, it's going to be the throw-in will belong to Tamil Nadu. They have the possession with the ball at the moment. Such is Ajit Kumar. Jumper, three-pointer, no, misses. And no white jersey to take it. But luckily the ball still is with them. Another empty look finds Ajit. Ajit drives, jumps, his partner scores. No! Vatanaman! Looking for a turnover. Prince Pal Singh, Gurvinder, back to Kuwar, Kulba, Sandhu. It's a three for Punjab. Rajan with the chapak. It made the chapak sound, did not touch the rim at all. Wonderful, again a five point lead with under 15 seconds to go in the first quarter. You're watching the under 21 boys final right here. Defending champions Tamil Nadu. Paradaneshwar is being guarded very well by Kurvinda. Now it's Ajit Kumar. No to pass. Great steal this. Can Rajan make the most of it? He does make the most of it, you beauty. And that will be the end of the first quarter. Such a strong finish by Punjab to the end of the first quarter. Thanks to number 11, Rajan. Got a three, got a two. Five points in a jiffy. Oh, this is exciting. Come back and enjoy the second quarter. Welcome back to all our viewers. If you're just joining us, the first quarter has ended. This is how it started. Tamil Nadu, slow yet steady. Punjab had built up a head of steam. They were 10 ahead until Tamil Nadu pulled it back. I'm Siddharth Pandey. Alongside me is Padanji Sarawat. Breathless first quarter, Paddy. Yeah, but first 10 minutes, I mean, the, the first uh, four five minutes, uh, Punjab only had points and Tamil Nadu had their chances, Siddharth, but they just could not convert it. But they came back, but just in the dying seconds of the first quarter, it was Punjab yet again with the lead. It was a 9-0 run for Tamil Nadu at one point. No doubt about that. We are on the verge of starting the second quarter. It's going to be about four quarters. Each quarter has 10 minutes written on it. This is going to be a crossing up here. Ajit. Ajit finds. There he is yet again. Misses. Good. Defensive rebound. Aman does not let it go. Finds Gurvinder. Gurvinder can search Rajan. He delays it. Steal yet again. Tamil Nadu on the charge. Two. Great start for Tamil Nadu. 
Good steal at the halfway line and then comes the two points. Turnover for Punjab. Rajan who ended the first quarter so well. Kua Gurba Sandhu to Gurvinder. The three point master goes for another one. Just about misses that. But Rajan is there. Rajan gets it. If you don't get it from the other players, then I'm going to get it from this one. But there's something about Punjab players and the three pointers. There are four of them in all. Very warm welcome to all of you. It's the second quarter. Punjab is leading Tamil Nadu 27 points to 19. They've got those three pointers going from Rajan and from Gurvinder. They've converted five out of seven, and Gurvinder has been the prized possession for them. I mean, look how it just submits in the hoop. Five out of seven, that's a great conversion rate when you talk about the three-pointers. That is normally a conversion when it comes down to free throws to that. Punjab very, very good. Punjab very, very solid. Good pass has it. Good pass gives it to Rajan. Rajan gives it to Gurvinder. Gurvinder, another three-pointer. He waits. He waits for Gurbaz. Gurbaz, will he take it? No, he chooses a man in the center. With the height, he gets it. Yes, he does. Aman actually wanted it earlier for them. He asked for that ball from Gurvinder earlier on. Was disappointed when he did not get it. Gurbaz finally found him and he converted. Gurvinder again. This is Gurvinder. Finds Prince Paul saying with the drive. Prince Paul. Great defense by Tamil Nadu. Now the turnover comes. Uh, sort of a leg spin that. Yet again, it is just the number 11, Shetan Roshan. Punjab, Gurvinder going for the three, gets it. How about that? This guy is on fire. Absolutely. I mean, this is scintillating stuff. Yet again, it's Baladhaneshwar with the ball. He takes it. It's on the rim. It will be throw in for Tamil Nadu. Gurvinder has been absolutely sensational in these one and a half quarters. Less than five minutes to go in the second quarter. So far, he's been the standout player for Punjab. Rajan has done very well himself. No doubt about that. Akash with the charge. I think Prince Paul with the charge distracted him. But the finish coming in was absolutely perfect. That is what you call tremendous amount of teamwork. Sheldon Roshan not making any error whatsoever. Gurvinder, the three pointers tie yet again. Rajan waits. Rajan chooses Prince Paul saying he's been quiet for a very long time. Oh, that is offensive. Foul, that is charge. Prince Paul has been marked so well. They have studied him and Tamil Nadu haven't quite allowed him to move. Was the top scorer in the semi-finals. 31 points is what he got. And today, 36 in all. There he goes, Gretchen. That is great rejection. And today, he has been playing the role of a defender much more because the others have been doing that duty for the team. Aman and Prince Paul, the two pillars in defense for Punjab, have been doing their role also very well offensively. He's not been at his best so far. Credit to Tamil Nadu for that. But defensively, he's getting his blocks right in. Yet again, Punjab have a big lead at the moment. Clearly, what they were in the league stages when these two sides met, it was Punjab giving them a complete thrashing, if we could say so. Finds his partner, searches his partner. Yes, Prince Paul Singh could have done so much more. He just stood there and watched. Kuwar Gurbaz Sandhu looking for options, finds who else? Gurvinder, he is here, there and everywhere. That's the first down. That is an alley-oop. He takes it in the air and he submits it in the hoop. That is the beauty of Prince Paul Singh. And that is what we call an alley-oop. Oh, what a treat to watch. When you gather the pass in the air and you don't even land on the ground, you just deposit it in the hoop. It is called an alley-oop. All the aggression, all the pent-up frustration coming out there after that hoop. Let's have a look at that again, Paddy. That is sensational. Alley-oop. The first one that I've seen since morning this.
Converts the free throw, no doubt about that. But I, Punjab are sitting very, very happy at the moment. But 10 point lead actually will not trouble Tamil Nadu much because they understand three minutes remaining in the second quarter and two quarters of 10 minutes each to follow after this. You know, he saw them having a 9 nil run, Siddharth. Do you remember the first quarter? Yes, absolutely. I remember that. It looked as if uh, Punjab would run away with it. But Tamil Nadu clawed their way back one point after another. Punjab need to be defensively intelligent now. They have a lead. They need to keep this lead into half time. Absolutely. And that is going to add more pressure on to Tamil Nadu. So far, we haven't seen personal fouls at all. Uh, we've just seen uh, one incident where the player has gone to the charity stripe. This time, Baladhaneshwar, he's going to be the key player. Gurvinda is the one. Double teaming up. Vishwas doesn't get it. Well done, captain. He gets it. Prince Park on the run. That is great rejection coming in from Baladhaneshwar. Look how much it matters for them. Jitni tarif ki jaye wala Dhaneshwar ki utni kam. Zabardar's defensive play. Prince Paul Singh aise lag raha tha. He would go it all alone. But just have a look at this. So strong wala Dhaneshwar. Rajan drives. Layup. Good defensive rebound. Tamil Nadu has the ball. Now that is a great pass. Just that he could not make the most of it. He could have done so much more with that pass. Intelligent basketball being seen by Tamil Nadu. The scoreboard remains unchanged. Less than two and a half on the clock in the second. Under 21 gold medal match is what it is. Punjab in the league stages gave Tamil Nadu a big thrashing. Mind you, when it comes down to fouls, there are different kind of fouls here. Flagrant one is a violent player contact and that's called flagrant. F1, which is flagrant one, is unnecessary contact. You get two flagrant ones and you are eliminated. Flagrant two is unnecessary and excessive, which can be brutal, harsh, cruel, dangerous. If that is what it is, then it's flagrant two and you are completely out of the game. You are sent out packing. But we haven't seen too many of them, Siddharth. As we said, it, it just might be the play as you go nearer to the end of this game. Drives well, finishes, no! Well done, good pass. He's the one with the defensive rebound. Gurbinder is the one who's thinking about spreading the ball at the moment. Excellent defensively and comes forward offensively. The captain of Punjab, Kuwar Gurba Sandhu, Rajan goes for the three. This is it. Yet again, it's this uh, jersey number four. Vishwath goes up. Vishwath doesn't score. His partner doesn't score. Prince Paul Singh yet again solid with the defensive rebound. He's found good pass. Good pass. No Saman is there somewhere. But he says, I'm enough. The 10 point lead has now become 12 because of this. Kuwar Kurba Sandhu is playing a stellar role both offensively and defensively for Punjab. No doubt about that. Bharathaneshwar has a great role to do. And because he was double teamed, Punjab still have another steal, another turnover. Gurbinda yet again, the three point master. And it is Rajan with the look. He misses by big margin, actually. <laughs> His captain will say to him next time, you don't try them. Oh, lands on him. Lands on him. Arvind Kumar it was, who's a junior international. Let's have a look at that. Point lead for Punjab at the moment, 41 seconds and under in the second quarter. Totally action packed, what it has been this encounter. Tassel going on, they haven't, been, they haven't been able to make the better use of the post though. Turns, swivels, Arvind doesn't score, but his partner does. Sheldon Roshan does not make a mistake. Almost a steal there, offensive steal by Tamil Nadu. Punjab have somehow managed to keep it with them. Kuwar Gurba Sandhu had the chance for a three. Still Punjab will have to throw in. I think there was a time when Mandeep was having the ball, nearly came very close to be called travelling. This is what I meant by intelligence, Paddy. It's still a 10-point lead. They have maintained it. Only 20 seconds on the clock. We are touching distance to half-time and Punjab have had the lead and they have kept the lead. Mandeep, Prince Paul, quick exchange, sharp exchange. They are not letting the thing... Oh! Jaza, that's a slam dunk! That's coming from Amman yet again. These big boys from Punjab are taking it to unimaginable heights. That's their ball. And that is the end of quarter number two in the under-21.
2021 boys gold medal match. What an encounter. Punjab with a 12 point lead. Just having a look at that again. Delicious by Aman. Gave that everything. And that lead now stands at a commanding 38 to 26. Confirmation of the scoreline that Punjab is leading Tamil Nadu at half time by 38 to 26. Live action from the second half coming your way in just a little. Talk about the boys, they're having the fun. We've, we've seen them dancing, we've seen the Bhangra moves. And so that we are anticipating the start of the third quarter of the under 21 boys final. But if Tamil Nadu have to make a comeback, they have to start now. Because uh, it's a 12-point lead at the start of the third. And uh, Tamil Nadu need to be careful here. The game could get out of hand. Look at that. That is a steal. That is a block. That is a turnover. No good pass. Oh! But he should, in distance, should just have taken some force out of that. Mandeep just could not get that under control. Punjab looking to start on the front foot. Tamil Nadu looking to cut that lead as they did in the first quarter. They did that successfully. Here comes Bala Dhaneshwar. He needs to play a big role for Tamil Nadu. The drive. Great marking. Well done Prince Pal Singh. Well done Aman. Both these boys in the low post are doing a great job. Great defensive skills and that is the reason why the shooters from Tamil Nadu have to find another ways and opportunities to score because they are not allowing them to just produce the drive, produce the layup and then score. Well done and now that is Prince Pal Singh for you. Pretty jump, he does. Pretty score, he misses. Tamil Nadu can come back now at Punjab. This is Bala Dhaneshwar. Arvind Kumar. Prince Pal Singh very active yet again. Bala Dhaneshwar and look suddenly the moment he comes, he is double teamed. You instantly saw jersey number four, Bandeep. You instantly saw. We sent till the coach really animated. The tiger on the touchline is we sent till. Obviously, you know, the side. Oh, there's Stavling. There is no call. He's lucky. He is lucky that's not called Stavling. Indeed, he's really lucky because uh, that was uh, quite clear, actually. Well done. Easy pickings. Aman will find it easy. Even if he's blindfolded, he'll cut Marcel into two points any given day. And that is hoop and arm. So he scored, and while he was shooting, he was. The foul happened, so the two that he got would get converted and now he's on the charity stripe as well. Full marks for the style quotient as well. Oh lovely, I like that hairstyle. Would you want to have a hairstyle like that, Siddharth? I'm good, Paddy, thanks. <laughs> I don't mind trying that at some point. There he goes, will it make it three points? Two is something that he's already got for his side. Aman. Omar misses. <laughs> Still a 12-point lead. Punjab are not allowing Tamil Nadu to get back into the game. Oh yes. Looking at the body language coming in from Tamil Nadu, I mean, I need to see something more positive. Something, and then they need to change their game plan. They have not been attempting three-pointers. If they start to do that, then the defense from Punjab will start to invade further, and then the opportunities will be created. Drives, layup, very, very good indeed. How good was Mandeep on that one? Pieces with the right hand, cut much with the left. He's been an unsung soldier for Punjab. Most of our thoughts and views are on Gurvinder, the likes of Raja and Prince Pal Singh, but he's been contributing right from the start as Mandeep. Arvind misses. Prince Pal gathers the defensive rebound. He's the one in possession of the ball. Gurvinder is the one that he trusts so much for. He sets the screen for him. Gurvinder drives, sets it up. Oh, oh misses. Misses. Could have been a great, great play there. Would have made for a great highlight package as well. Bharat the rest with the ball at the moment. Tamil Nadu are doing nothing right. Like Punjab also are missing their chances. He misses yet again. Prince Pal yet again. Aman yet again. How about that for an offensive steal? But Punjab get it back. Prince Pal needs to do more. Needs to get back into defense because Tamil Nadu had an overload in offense there. Gurvinder. Unko guard karne ki koshish. Kamyab nahi. Tease kiya. Jump kiya. Stop kiya. 44 to 28. This is Punjab extending their lead with this guy, Gurvinder. 
Bala Dineshwar. Sheldon. Man to man marking perfect. Sheldon yet again. Find Sanjay. Easy. Again, one more time. The same problem. Nobody to take the offensive rebound there. Kuwar Gurbara Sandhu gathers that happily. Prince Pal Singh. Kuwar Gurbara Sandhu. Three point line. Here comes the drive. Easy two for him. Easy two for Punjab. And because the ball movement was so swift and quick, they created gaps. And because you create gaps, you create opportunities. Well done. Punjab are playing clinical basketball at the moment. Baladhaneshwar. Again, double team. Again, the possession will belong to Punjab. Everything going right for Punjab. Nothing going right for Tamil Nadu. They need a timeout. And they've got a timeout. It's a good time to take a timeout. We Senthil is not happy. The rest of the third quarter coming your way in just a short while from now. Do stay with us. 6.38 remaining in the third quarter. We are looking at the under-21 boys gold medal match. This is a matchup between Punjab and Tamil Nadu. The game so far belongs to Punjab, but twists and turns are a part of any game. You can never rival the mystery of life sport. Gurbaz yet again. Punjab can take their time. He finds Aman. Aman has been double teamed. That's the reason this drive coming in from Anti very good. Oh, that's a blemish from Punjab very rare. Yes, it is, and Gurbinder is not very happy. But it's 46-28. With just under 6.30 to go in the third. And Punjab have a commanding lead over Tamil Nadu. Aman and Prince Paul have been closely marked by Tamil Nadu. But others have stepped up for Punjab. The same can't be said of Tamil Nadu. Yeah, and we still don't, don't see any three-pointers being attempted from Tamil Nadu. They should try and do that. Then the defenders will try and approach them furthermore towards the arc. Well done. That's great conversion. That's a good drive by Bala Dhaneshwar. He and Sheldon Roshan have been the inspiration for Tamil Nadu. This is so much space for Punjab. Well covered defensively by Tamil Nadu. For a moment, they look stretched. Good Rindar with the three. Misses. Uh, he was not missing anything in the first quarter. And since then, his three-pointers have started to ditch him. But he'll be a happy team man because his, his role is far greater than just the conversion of the three-pointers. He distributes the ball well, he's found everywhere, he's a swift mover. Paradhaneshwar. Ajit Kumar. Oh, well done. Yet again, it will be the possession for Tamil Nadu. But how was that from Prince Paul Singh? The jump and the rejection. Yes, offensively things have not gone his way. But defensively, his contributions have been massive. He and Aman both, I have to say. And Pua Gurbaz Sandhu as well. Tamil Nadu getting on the score sheet in the third quarter. Trying to cut down the lead. Arvind, very good on that occasion. Oh, well done. That is acrobatic and that is very skillful. But the throw-in will come for Punjab. Took a while to compose himself, Arvind Kumar just hurt himself. Punjab can afford to control the pace at the moment, they can go a little slow. But Gurubar says, why do we need to? Excellent layup! He does not even take the help of the board. He does not need the class to show the class. He's been outstanding, the Punjab captain. So has the Tamil Nadu captain, but he's not getting a lot of support. Sheldon Roshan, jersey number 11. And I think the senior India player, Bala Dhaneshwar, has disappointed me big time. Or you can say that because the moment he has the ball, he has been double teamed. And because he's double teamed, he should find ways and means. Find your partners that are unmarked. And that is what good team spirit is. Well done, Mandeep. Snatches, steal. Gurvinda, by start. Gurvinda, three. Gurvinda misses. Sheldon with the ball. Tamil Nadu on the attack. Arvind, excellent pass. But well done, Aman. Really well done to Aman there. Here comes Tamil Nadu, goes for the three, misses, Prince Paul Singh again, can't control it, Gurvinder is there, Gurbaz is there too, Gurvinder yet again finds Prince Paul Singh and he's finding Aman, Aman gets it, yet again, how is that between two big boys, one tosses it up in the air, the other one in the air, touches it and just guides it into the Absolutely brilliant by Punjab. Tamil Nadu need to find answers and they need to find it quickly. 17 points. How about that for a block by the big man? Oh boy, oh boy. That is the difference. See, the timing of that jump. 
and a blockbuster block. Ambitious by Tamil Nadu, misses it. Punjab with Kuwar Gurbaz Sandhu, who has led his team admirably here. Sheldon Roshan has tried his best to do the same for Tamil Nadu. It's not quite coming off for them. Gurbaz yet again. Prince Pal is the one who's quick passing. They change flanks. Gurbaz one yet again. He could have searched for Mandi. Mandi was standing there. Prince Pal is the one who's begging. He said, Give it to me. He wants to be the thick of action. Drives. Get it. Defensively, he's been solid and offensively, he's getting his act together deep into the game. Just about three and a half in the third quarter and he likes that, Principal. We love it too. 3.37 to go in the third quarter, 52-33 in favor of Punjab at the moment. Mind you, we'll just try and remind you and that's hoop and half, mind you. In the league stages, when Punjab played Tamil Nadu, it was a whopping big margin win for Punjab. Prince Pal Singh, can he make it? Uh, three point. No, he doesn't. He misses. He still has the ball. He can now. Oh, he could have gotten two. Gurmit is the one. Oh, but no, catch it. That's a three. Well done. 17 points for Gurvinder. That's how good he's been. Sensational stuff. Well, that's a blessing in disguise that he missed it and the ball was still in play. It went to Gurvinder and it actually they produced uh, five points in one goal. His fifth three-pointer of the game. This boy has been sensational for Punjab. How about that? And that is uh, actually reminds us of the glimpses that he showed in the first quarter. Both Padia Kelian that 3 minutes 14 seconds ka samay vishesh reh gaya. Aap dekh rahe hain 21 boys ka gold medal mukabla. Basketball, amazing skills required. Height bhi hai, magar wahan par rejection bhi aata hua. Aur achhi baat unhone ye ki hai ki unko mark karne ke liye Sanjay hai jinki height bilkul principal ke barabar. Aman Sandhu standing on the free throw line looking to extend the lead it's already a very big one in favor of Punjab no pressure no pressure at all why because you've got a cushion of a big lead I'll talk about the free throws they always are filled with tension talk about Shaquille O'Neal he had a 48% of conversion rate talk about the great Shaquille O'Neal so the pressure could really be felt on Aman's face right there. Holding the ball at the moment, Arvind Kumar with three minutes to go in the third quarter. This is Arvind Kumar looking for options. He's marked by Gurvinder. Switches to the left. Good drive here. Tamil Nadu with a chance. Misses it. Looking for a quick turnover. It's Kuwar Gurbaz. Sandhu can't control it. Oh, yes. Punjab have to make sure that they don't let the grip loose on the encounter. They've got a lead all right. But in the sport of basketball, this lead can just change hands within no time. Ten minutes is eternity, Siddharth. We still have two and a half minutes in, left in this quarter. Absolutely no doubt about that. Comes a three, gets a three. Arvind with a shot in the arm for Tamil Nadu. Absolutely. And this is where they need to be very careful. Gurvinda, Gurbaz, Prince Paul in the air. Gurvinder open look for the three. Gets it yet again. Oh, you beauty, you rockstar. <laughs> six for him, and that is the sixth. Gurvinder with number six at the back of his jersey. Gets a six with an entire quarter and a minute, two minutes to go. If you play for the number at the back of your shirt, you'll always be remembered for the name. On the front of it. <laughs> Gurbaz yet again, tries to set a screen does Arman, but Gurbaz does not make the most of it. Oh, that's going to be two, even if he got it, because he had touched the line. Three-point line should not be touched when you take a shot. Open look. Oh, misses. Punjab are taking liberties defensively because they are keeping players right up front for the turnovers. Gurvinder now, he is running the show for Punjab. Rajan with the two, gets it. They have 
completely spread the field. Now, because they've done so, the chances also are growing at the moment. Now, Punjab needs to make sure that they just make, they have to have this lead with them intact. Convert Garba, Sandhu. Can't convert. Tamil Nadu with an overload. Baladhaneshwar gives it back. Goes for the three. Was Arvind Kumar. Does not convert. Convert Gurba Sandhu. Switches flanks to Gurbinder. How easy was that? Gets the two. This boy is on fire. Absolutely. Tough to stop him. And when you got this precise game plan on and quick passing, they don't hold on to the ball for too long. Easy. And he misses it. And that is where the problem has been. Not that they've not had their chances, but they have their chances. Dominant display by Punjab. Gurvinder taking a breather. Punjab taking a collective breather. Prince Pal Singh telling him and the teammates where he wants the positions to be. That's been called a foul. Oh, we still have 8.9 seconds left on the clock. 63-38, big, big lead for Punjab and I think Sheldon, it was a nice pass, they have to throw it back to Baladhaneshwar who has been quiet, still stays quiet, defensive rebound, very, very good yet again and that is the end of quarter number three and that is a massive, massive lead, 63-38 in favour of Punjab, mind you the defending champion has got a body surprise run yet again and that is it, he has been impeccable, the jump, the release, the shooting, bang on. Gurvinder has been the star. He's had a monster game for Punjab, as Gurvinder Singh, Narajan has had a very good game. So has the captain, Kanwar Garbaz Sandhu. The good thing is, Prince Pal and Aman have been kept somewhat under check offensively, others have stepped up. Can't say the same for Tamil Nadu. Sheldon Roshan and Bala Dhaneshwar have tried their best. Defensively, Punjab have been good. They needed others to step up. That has not quite happened. They have got one quarter only to rectify the scoreline. Tamil Nadu. Gurvinder yet again. We were running a package on him a short while back. He drives. He says it's not just about my three pointers, it's about my passing as well. Good pass misses. Gurvinder retreats. You cannot keep him out of action. And that goes around the three pointer. Three pointer number six. Six is the number of the jersey, too. Man of the match for me. Gurvinder, so far, he has been class apart from every other player on that court today. Kanra Gurbaz Sandhu. He's been pretty good as well. It is loose from Tamil Nadu, allowing Tamil Nadu uh, Punjab to go on the offense. Prince Pal Singh. This is an easy one. He's not got his own A game offensively today for Punjab. And this is the three pointer. Three pointer number six. Well done. Look at that signal coming in from the official as well. Great camera work as well. You talk about the foul. Oh, yes. That is the advantage that you get. After a foul, timed play stops and the player foul is given one or more one point free throws depending on where the action happened. He gets two free throws, he converts both. How about that for a lead going into the fourth? 68 to 38. Punjab have just executed that game plan to the T. Arvind Kumar. And because the man to man marking has been just so very good is creating a lot of problems for the Tamil Nadu shooters. B. Senthil, the coach of Tamil Nadu, is just beside himself, not happy with the performance that his side have put in. Drives, finds Sendil. There, yet again Arvind. This time around, it's Sanjay. Sanjay gets it. Punjab will have to make sure that they don't show any lapse in concentration. It's all about making sure that the good work is not undone at the moment. Need to watch it on the turnovers. Tamil Nadu, so much space for Punjab. Kanwar Gurba, Sandhu. Can't convert, but uh, they need to be careful defensively. Or oh, they need to be. Time is something that is uh, with them. Lead is something that is with them. 28 point lead. Mind you, if you look at the big encounters in the history of basketball, a certain kind of a lead has been taken care of. Punjab will have to make sure whatever 24 seconds that you get with them, they have to make sure you kill the clock. Keep killing the clock. 
You can slow the pace of the game as well. Good pass. Three pointer misses. They still have it. Two point is what they get. Well, that presses the mind from Rajan. And the 30 point lead. Mountainous lead by Punjab is maintained. Tamil Nadu. Baladhaneshwar has to do here. Siddharth, today, has been disappointed by Baladhaneshwar because he has been double team. Double team is two defensive players. They are completely tired. After that, you should see that where the player is not standing, you are looking for the player. So, you are looking for the player. And Baladhaneshwar has not been able to do that. Here is Sheldon Roshan, which we saw in the first quarter. We have to do the form of Punjab because they have not been able to do Sheldon Roshan. जी हाँ, rolling substitution अब आ गए हैं विग्नेश, विग्नेश के बगल में आकाश, double team करने की उनका भी कोशिश एक बार फिर मंदीप का अच्छा काम, राजन ओंदा चांस, oh great rejection, great rejection, मगर कितनी देर तक रहेगी ये नीचे, अबान ने कहा I am the man, आकाश ने पूरी कोशिश की थी defensively, ये रहा block, आकाश का जबरदस्त block. But Punjab on the offensive rebound. Lebron James came out. Such a rejection from the back, such a block from the back. Lebron James is very much done. 72 Punjab, 7 minutes of the game. 4th quarter, under 21 boys. This final game, both teams were in the league phase. Punjab had hit and hit the ball. The lead is now beyond 30 points. It's 72 to 14. Tamil Nadu looking to cut that down. Unsuccessful. Ball will belong to Tamil Nadu. Siddharth. अब आपको थ्री पॉइंटर तमिलनाडु को अटेम्प्ट करने होंगे आप ड्राइव करके अंदर आएंगे उससे आपका काम चलने वाला है नहीं। Until those three pointers go in from Tamil Nadu, they will not be too worried. It's a steal, it's a turnover. Prince Paul Singh. Semi-final मुकाबले की चलके याद आ गई। 36 पॉइंट जो उन्होंने दर्ज किए थे और बिल्कुल सरानीय काम। मेरे ख्याल से आज के दिन ज़्यादा जो इनका काम रहा है वो डिफेंसिव लो पोस्ट में रहा है अपनी और वहाँ कमाल का काम न सिर्फ इन्होंने बल्कि अमान ने भी। इन दोनों ने ये चुना है कि अटैक हम कम करें, हम डिफेंस ज़्यादा करें क्योंकि गुरविंदर ने और राजन ने बहुत बढ़िया काम किया। मंदीप को कैसे कमा सकते हैं आप? गुरविंदर ऑप्शंस खोजते हुए ना प्रिंस पाल के पास बॉल आई ना अमान के पास मिस पास गुरविंदर द्वारा बहुत ज़्यादा चिंतित नहीं होंगे पंजाब क्योंकि लीड देखिए पैरी जबरदस्त लीड है इट्स अ कमांडिंग लीड बाय पंजाब ओवर तमिलनाडु दिस इज़ द फाइनल्स रिमेम्बर 21 पॉइंट के लिए रसिदात मेरा मैथ कितना भी खराब हो इतना आपको बता दूं कि लीड 21 पॉइंट किया छह मिनट का समय शेष यहां पर रह गया छह नंबर जसी ने कमाल कर रखा है पंजाब से नाम गुरविंदर काम टिक्के मारना छह टिक्के आज के दिन अर्जित कर चुके हैं डबल टीम करने की पूरी कोशिश बेल्टन ड्राइव करके अंदर आए मगर डिफेंस देखिए चुस मुस्तैद तैना एक बार फिर पंजाब के पास बॉल प्रिंस बॉल से ड्राइव ट्रेवलिंग कॉल की नहीं विग्नेश का अच्छा डिफेंसिव वर्क वहां पर प्रिंस पाल सिंह की कोशिश मगर कोशिश ना काम पंजाब ने याद है शुरुआत की थी गेम की तो दस नील की बढ़त ली थी फिर नाइन नील का रन आया था तमिलनाडु का गुरबास आए गुरबास ने गुरविंदर को टूटा गुरविंदर का मैच चिल्लाने वाला था सातवां थ्री पॉइंट प्रिंस पाल सिंह विद ड्राइव तमिलनाडु जस्ट अबाउट ब्लॉक हिम पांच चौंतीस समय जो शेष और चौबीस सेकंड आपको नॉर्मली मिलते हैं जब आपको शॉट लेने के लिए फिलहाल ऑन द क्लॉक टाइम यहाँ पर बचा हुआ चौंतीस टाइम आउट यहाँ पर लिया गया है Very warm welcome to all our viewers. Punjab have worked up a very big lead over Tamil Nadu. It's the boys under 21 final. That is uh, Vicentil, the head coach of Tamil Nadu, on your screens. And he will be a worried man because Tamil Nadu have to find answers. And they have to find them very fast. It's just over five and a half on the clock. I'm Siddharth Pandey alongside me is Padamji Sarabhat. Padam, it's been all Punjab throughout this match. Yeah, and he will not be worried, Siddharth. He is worried. 
क्योंकि समय देख लीजिए साढ़े पांच मिनट का बचा है और पंजाब वहां पर ऑफेंसिव फाउल दिया गया है इसलिए चैरिटी स्ट्राइक पर नहीं जाएंगे प्रिंसिपाल को कहा गया है कि अपने हाथ के पीछे से जाकर अपने ओपोनेंट को छुआ सेवेंटी फोर फोर्टी थ्री जो भी करना है जल्दी करना होगा समय नहीं है और मैं हैरान हूं ये, ये जो स्पीड है इस स्पीड से आप मुकाबला नहीं जीतेंगे चार पर्सनल फाउल हो गए प्रिंसिपाल सिंह के एक और हो गया तो गेम से इजेक्ट कर दिए जाएंगे उसके बाद गेम में शिरकत नहीं कर सकते we sent hill is the game talking to his players telling them what is needed of them in this final 5 14 minutes to go aman's been really good in defense as well for punjab tamil nadu is just not getting the conversions that are required durbin they're coming away with it now he's been a star and that's the captain for you He has been at the point guard. He has distributed the ball very well. Aman, switch, turn, score, glass, glass, boom. 76-43 in favor of Punjab. Less than five on the clock. All they have to do is now hit them on the turnover because the lead is so big. Huge, monstrous. Punjab have really given Tamil Nadu a thrashing in this one. No doubt about that, as they did in the league stages. But this game is not over yet. He jumps. He misses. That has been the irony. They missed easy chances that have come their way. Bala Thaneshwar. Oh, that's a three. Brilliant shot. Akash has really grown as the game has gone on. He's been good defensively. And how about that for a three by Akash? आप देख लीजिए पंजाब की रणनीति यहाँ पर साफ. गेम को स्लो करने की कोशिश जो आपको 24 सेकंड मिलते हैं शूट करने के लिए वो 21 बाईस सेकंड यूज करेंगे फिर स्कोर करेंगे अच्छा डिफेंसिव रिबाउंड तमिलनाडु के पास गति बढ़ानी होगी जो भी करना है जल्दी करना होगा Arvind Kumar it is this time and uh, they have forced Punjab into thinking about things here and that is well done by Tamil Nadu just putting that little bit of pressure on Punjab which was missing aur agar Punjab dimag mein soch ke baithe hain unhone mukabla jeet liya hai to bahut badi galti kar sakte hain kyunki 3.5 minute se upar ka samay vishesh hai kareeb kareeb 4 minute ka aur aise hi do teen tikke aur lage you never know khel mein kya ho jaye sadar yeah bilkul is baat तो, तो कोई नकार नहीं सकता जब लंबा कीजिए अमान जी हाँ वही क्या उन्होंने अमान का प्रदर्शन कितना बढ़िया रहा है प्रिंसिपाल की हम बात कर रहे हैं गुरविंदर की हम बात कर रहे हैं कैप्टन कन्वर गुरबा संधु की हम बात कर ले मगर अमान डिफेंसिवली और ओफेंसिवली उनका कंट्रीब्यूशन जबरदस्त रहा है पंजाब के लिए जी हाँ टीम का सम्मान अमान बेहद बहुत बड़े कंट्रीब्यूशन ओ लगातार तीसरा तिक्का होते होते बचा नेक्स्ट स्पिन करने की कोशिश वहां पर ऑफ द क्लास क्लास नहीं दिखा पाए इंतजार कर रहे हैं मनदीप यहाँ तमिलनाडु से हमें अग्रेशन अब देखने में आई है टर्न ओवर यहाँ पे होता हुआ गुरबास को ढूंढा गुरबास ने ढूंढा अमान को अमान ने ढूंढा उसको सिलसिला दहला दिया जिसकी तारीफ कर रहे थे उसने दिखा दिया कि वो तारीफ के लायक है अमान Zabar stands under 21 boys ka final flurry of points from Punjab aur ye dekh lijiye inke tikko ki baat kar lijiye inka drive kariye inka layup kariye aur agar miss bhi kisi ne kar diya to fir aman the wahan par convert karne ke liye all they have to do now is see this through just over 3 left on the clock aman has been brilliant for Punjab one amongst many no doubt that aap inko defense mein dekh lijiye aap inke aggressive स्किल्स देख लीजिए और इट टेक्स अलॉट छोटे छोटे स्प्रिंट लगा के आपको वापस डिफेंस भी करना होता है फिर आपको अटैक भी करना होता है तो सबसे ज्यादा मेहनत अगर इस टीम में किसी दो खिलाड़ियों ने की है तो वो प्रिंसिपाल सिंह और वो अमान है क्योंकि इनकी डबल ड्यूटी है और ये लीजिए आप ड्यूटी बन जाती है आकाश की जल्दी से स्कोर करें समय आपके पास है नहीं लीड आपके पास है नहीं वरना अगर ऐसे ही चलता रहा तो गोल्ड भी आपके पास नहीं होगा कहा थे 
ये एफर्ट ज्यादा उन्होंने लिए नहीं थे अगर आप वो कोशिश करते डिफेंस आपको आगे आगे टैकल करने की कोशिश करता और फिर आपके पास ड्राइव करके ले अप करके स्कोरिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज बढ़ जाते फिलहाल समय निकला जा रहा है जो भी करना होगा ताबड़तोड़ तरीके से करना होगा तमिलनाडु को एक और स्टील जब तो जैद आप लगातार देख सकते हैं गोल्ड मेडल की लड़ाई जारी है पिछले कुछ समय में आकाश का और अरविंद का कंट्रीब्यूशन बहुत ही बढ़िया रहा है स्क्रीन सेट किया भारत धनेश्वर ने उसका फायदा नहीं उठा पाए स्क्रीन वो होता है जब आप एक डिफेंडर के पास आके अपने साथी को एक मौका देते हैं एक नई राह बनाने का उसे स्क्रीन सेट करना कहते हैं शेल्डिन रोशन मगर आज के दिन पंजाब का डिफेंस बहुत रोशन अमान भी रोशन गुरबाज भी है मगर वहां पर फाउल करार दिया गया और जाएंगे अब चैरिटी स्ट्राइक पर फाउल इज एन इंफ्रैक्शन ऑफ द रूल्स मोर सीरियस देन वायलेशन और अब वो चैरिटी स्ट्राइक पे हैं तो उनको दो मौके मिलेंगे इस लीड को और ज्यादा बढ़ाने के मिसेस मगर ज्यादा प्रेशर उन पर है नहीं तुरंत गए प्रिंसिपाल सिंह उन्हें कहा कोई बात नहीं कन्वर्ट किया दूसरा अब स्कोर फिलहाल 79 पंजाब तमिलनाडु बावन दो मिनट से कम का समय शेष रह गया है इस चौथे क्वार्टर में और इस मुकाबले में आप देख रहे हैं अंडर 21 बॉयज का गोल्ड मेडल मुकाबला पंजाब ने अपनी महारत यहां पे साबित की है जब शॉट एरियल मगर एयर बॉल एयर बॉल वो शॉट होता है जब कोई शूटर अटेम्प्ट लेता है ना तो ग्लास पे लगता है ना बोर्ड पे लगता है ना रिम पे लगता है और वो दिखाता है कि प्रेशर किस तरीके से हावी है गुरविंदर ने वहां पर ढूंढा था प्रिंसिपाल सिंह को प्रिंसिपाल सिंह हुप को नहीं ढूंढ पाए नब्बे सेकेंड का समय शेष रह गया है स्क्रीन सेट की शेल्डन ने उसका भरपूर फायदा उठाने की कोशिश ऑफेंसिव रीबाउंड भी बहुत बढ़िया ड्राइव करके बाहर गए सतीश रोलिंग सब्सिट्यूशन आया है सतीश के रूप में तमिलनाडु के लिए अरविंद और आकाश दो नाम जो पिछले पांच मिनट में स्कोर लाइन को कम से कम थोड़ा कम जिन्होंने जरूर किया है पर अभी भी कम करने के बावजूद भी अगर आप ये लीड देख लें तो बहुत बड़ी सत्ताईस पॉइंट की ये लीड सत्तर सेकंड से कम का समय शेष अब रह जाएगा ओ ये उनकी किस्मत ऐसी रही है आज के दिन अराउंड हुप घूमी अगर हुप के अंदर न समाई गेंद गुरबास कप्तान विकल्प ढूंढ रहे हैं मंदीप मंदीप के बगल में गुरविंदर और स्क्रीन सेट करने की कोशिश वहां पर कर रहे थे अमान समय ले रहे हैं क्लॉक किल करने की पूरी पूरी कोशिश एंड दैट इज अ गुड स्ट्रैटेजी नो डाउट अबाउट दैट मंदीप यार अगेन मंदीप एज बिन मार्क वेल गुरविंदर और दे हैव किल द टाइम ऑन द क्लॉक चौबीस सेकेंड पूरे हो गए उसके बाद आप शॉट नहीं ले सकते यू ओनली गेट ट्वेंटी फोर सेकेंड टू टेक दैट शॉर्ट and punjab won't mind that actually because that works in their favor they've taken care of the 24 seconds already akash takes say akash misses great control control balance attack offense defense sab kuch bahut badhiya raha hai aaj ke din punjab ka mandeep as you can see they're trying to kill the clock and that's a good strategy three pointer was trying to sneak and find a way through was gurvinder 17 second bache hain is muqable mein 7952 and the writing more or less is on the wall but they can't celebrate much before that whistle goes he jumps scores good defensive rebound they hold on to the ball they just need to kill it gold medal belongs to from the defending champions and how gurvinda was spectacular aman and prince pal singh in the low post were breathtaking they rejected the shots they blocked it they steeled and they were very good when it came down to the conversion as well those were the two boys who were burning the midnight oil at both ends congratulations that is team punjab for all of you in the league stage is two they had given the same opponents a big thrashing That is the celebration coming.
And the mascot celebrating as well. Well done, Prince Paul Singh, jersey number 10. Gurvinda, the tiny little monster right there. You cannot argue with the officials. Should go and apologize, Prince Paul Singh. Punjab, the well-deserved gold medal winner in the under-21 boys category. Sharp, clinical, precise and bang on. Great, great control. Aman was good. Prince Pal Singh was solid. Gurvinda was magical. Off and on, Rajan made sure that his presence was also felt. And that is the confirmation for you. Gold medal belongs to Punjab.